What's up guys, Synergy here, and we're bringing you a brand new episode, this one's going to be episode 16 for you guys, and we are playing Capture the Flag, so we're going to get into this, and we are actually on Swampland at the minute, you can see I've just been taken out clean off the Martler by Master of Puppets. Damn that Puppet Master. Anyway guys, we are going to be moving on, and you can see I just got a hit marker, so I know he's going to chase me down, and that allows me to pick up a revenge kill on Master of Puppets. Right, so there we go, there's the start, which has basically forced me into defensive mode for the minute, so all I'm going to be doing here is I'm just going to be defending our flag, and just checking around the area, checking where they are, and obviously we're going to end up making a push for it. We're going to make this one nice and quick for you guys, so we're basically going to get into this, and I'm going to talk you through it. As you can see, Higher Dream picks up an RZ Carmine kill, three of our players have just got taken out, two by the Arc Grenades, one by the G2A4, I take out Rector Lunatic with the RC Carbine. Now uh, I'm actually going tree side at the minute just to give me an aerial view towards Chicken Room. You can see he's just smoked there so we must have had a rodeo incoming towards him and he's going to end up doing the work with that flag and taking it back to our base at the minute and what you can see is what I'm going to do is I'm going to push forward, take out brothers from another mother and we are in the flag room at the minute so all we're doing here is we're just taking out some random grunts I'm just covering Nomad so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna act as a secondary bait for him um, while he's doing it I'm just covering his backside this allows anybody to shoot him there we go and I'll pick up the flag since he's been taken out I'll return that there and I'll bring it back home into the base and there you go there's our first flag capture Right, so as we get the first flag capture, we just pick up a kill on Master of Puppets, but we're met by a secondary person with the G2A4 who takes Synergy out. Chicken Run just picked up a cluster missile kill, while Batman Up Rises has just taken out Jedi Mind, and the Militia Grunt picks up a Nazi Carbine kill on one of their players. That's embarrassing. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, Chicken Run's got the flag and he's heading home towards the base. I'm just going to pick up a few random kills here, just realise that there's a titan here and that will give us a nice and easy titan kill so we'll be able to take one of the titans out nice and swift, even though he's in the base, it would be a nice and easy kill. This guy's just embarked into titan, it's not really the titan fight I want to be in because I am in a strider, as you can see he's cluster missile so I'm just backing off him, backing off him, I'm going to cluster there just so he can't go forward. Now we've got a top side view on him and we're going to do that. And Jedi Man's just brung in the turbo engine card, so he's obviously in his Titan. And I'm just gonna get the capture on this one again, so pick up the flag. And unfortunately, I realise that I have. just got it. <clears throat> right, two of those players have left now. And we are moving into the second part of the round. And obviously, they will end up getting a few more players as well on their team, just to make it nice and fair. So this time, what I decide to do is go left side. It's very important to sort of spread the field when you are attacking the flags, guys. It's one of the main important things when you're playing the game. Obviously, you want to have fun and you want to own and everything like that, but at the end of the day, it is a team game, so if you're playing as a team, you want to win. And winning is our thing. As you can see, we are going for that 100 win streak. As soon as we hit the 100 win streak, I will be naming everybody that's a participant, everybody in the team that has hit it. And obviously, only from there, we can only really go up, to be honest with you. So Meaty's just working on that flag, taking it back to our base. Hopefully he doesn't get taken out. You can see two people protecting him. Now he's coming inside, I'm just coming inside making sure I'm going to follow him, follow him, follow him Satchel charge almost takes somebody out there I'm just going to make my way back over here where Higher Dream is I'm going to take out that human player, I'm going to pick up the flag Thing. If one person gets taken out, you can take the flag to another person. You can see the kill mark there, so I'm just trying to hunt him down. 
then I realise that he's actually being a bit more cautious about it and he's already on the outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to survive as long as I can. We're going to see how many we can take out here. I'm going to let my team hunt them down and I'm going to move to the backside. I'm going to basically get to a position where they're not going to be able to kill me very easily. And all I'm doing here is I'm switching my positions, I'm not staying still whatsoever. Um, I have to stay still here for a second, but only because I'm paying attention to my minimap at the same time. And there we go, we pick up a human kill. Come on bros, take him out already, come on! And the flag just got dropped and I just got dropped at the same time, unfortunately. So there we go, they return the flag. I know that guy's around here somewhere. That's why I'm just working on the defence part, just making sure. Now I'm going to make my way over towards Nomad. Give him a bit of secure attack. There you are, he's coming through. And I'm just going to follow him, be the bait for him. There you go, you can see I'm hit marked. They took our flag. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and hunt him down for him. There we go, and we return the flag, and that gives us our fifth flag capture, guys. Higher Dream's just picking up a chain gun kill while Mooty Beef picks up a kill with the car SMG, and the Higher Dream gets a double kill with that chain gun. Now this is where we have a bit of an advantage, because we've got more Titans up than they have. Now we know the Titan is around our base somewhere. Jedi Mines picks up the cluster missile kill. I'm just flanking around the backside trying to find out where this Titan is. There he is. So we're going to attack him. I'm going to do as much damage as we possibly can. Just keep him busy, keep him busy. Obviously we want to take this guy out before he even uses that zip line. And here's that Titan again. You can see my shields are taking heavy hits at the minute using the Vortex shield and I'm just going to cluster down, there we go, and we'll take that Titan out. Right, so Chicken Run's just picked up an Art Cannon kill, Jedi Mines with the Quad Rocket, we are moving to evacuation time, guy in the air, not sure where he is, And Jedi Mines picks up the quad record kill, and now we see him, so we're just gonna cover our player there and we'll take out Master of Puppets yet again. Right, guys, so don't forget, like, comment, subscribe for videos if you like the content. You like the content, simple as that. And here comes the dropship, guys. We're coming to the end of the game. Dropship gets cleaned out, so the evac gets denied. A little bit of messing around here. Showmanship. And there we go, there's the score. Peace out.